Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've done a new release video and we did so many fun Halloween single sheets that are new to the shop that I thought I had to do a video. More Halloween stuff will be coming. I mean, we are just, the, today is August 1st, so we have a lot of time, um, but this is kind of to kick us off. So let's get into the single sheets first, and then I'll show you one of the kits that have been made so far. Um, so a lot of these I have at least two sizes. Some of them I don't. It just depends on the design. So this is the Bat Garland and it comes in regular and itty bitty. The regular is one and a half inches wide and the itty bitty is an inch wide. And they're just so cute. Perfect for like uh, just decorating a box that you don't want too much going on. Be a really nice touch. Next up we have the bat cocoa, which is just a cup of cocoa with a bat on it. You can't go wrong with bats. <laughs> so that's the bat cocoa. And then we have bat coffee. So I did a little coffee with a little moon and star. I thought that was super cute. So this one comes in regular and itty bitty. Next up we have the black cat. And this one comes in three different sizes. So we have regular itty bitty and teeny weeny. And you guys, when I say teeny weeny, I am not kidding. They are so small. I could like put this cat on my fingernail and use it as a nail deal decal. Like see how tiny it is? <laughs> so this is the black cat. You can see it up close. It's harder to see the yellow eyes on the teeny weeny. I tried to make the yellow even brighter, but it, because it's so small, it's just hard to see, but they are tiny and it is stuck to my nail. They're repositionable stickers, so <laughs> I'll be able to get it up, but that is the um, black cats. And then we did the bats in all three sizes. So regular, itty bitty, and teeny weeny. I just love the little bats. There's three different ones. There's one with his mouth open, this little fat purple one, and then him with his mouth closed. So again, regular, itty bitty, and teeny weeny. The regular stickers, you can think about it like this. Regular stickers are usually like 0.6 to 0.7 inches tall, depending on the design. Itty bitties are around a half inch, and then teeny weenies are 0.3 inches. So they're much, much smaller. But when you're thinking about all the different sizes, that's a really good scale to use um, for them. Next up, we have the ghosts, and this comes in regular and itty bitty, two different ones where he's just standing there looking all cute, and then this one, he's running away. Next, we have the spooky candle, and this one comes in two different colors. I don't think I printed the other color. Oh, no, I did. It's hiding in there. Uh, purple and orange. So two different sizes. You have the regular and the itty bitty. It's just super cute. It has a little spider webs, a little skull on it. So that's the purple. And then this is the orange. I'm looking down. I don't understand why I put all of these other stickers in this stack. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to throw this on the side. Um, <laughs> next up, we have Halloween treats. So cupcakes, donuts, ice cream, cocoa, cauldrons of candy, all kinds of fun stuff. So that comes in regular and itty bitty. We have the spooky computer, which is a regular desktop computer filled with spooky items. So you have your jack-o'-lantern pen cup, your bat coffee, a spider, some webs. I have another one coming out that is um, fall and then another one that is just super cute and like pastel -y. So we have that and then we have the tombstones. I, decor I designed these tombstones in hopes that I could write something in there. So the regular size uh, is just under uh, a half in one and a half inches wide. And then these are just an inch wide. So that's the two different sizes. You have bats, jack-o'-lantern, and ghosts. Next up, we have the cozy bat blanket. I was on a bat kick, you guys. <laughs> I still feel like more bat stuff needs to come out. Um, so it's just a really cute blanket ladder. I made a blanket ladder for the kawaii kit. I just had to turn it into more stuff. So we have that. And then we have it in itty bitty. And the itty bitty is really small. I think because it's so skinny and tall, it just translates really tiny. Um, but it's still a half inch. It's, again, it's just that it's thin. So that's the cozy blanket. And then we have the pumpkin garland, which right now is just in this one size. Um, but I'll lift it up slightly so you can see how it's cut. Um, so I just put that on the top of one of my boxes or something like that in my planner. So that's that, and then I normally don't do clip art, but I saw this art, and I've been talking with the artist, and oh my gosh, it's just so 
This was just so cute. So I had to make it into a kit. You guys may have seen it as $2 Tuesday. And there's also some pencil boards available, but um, the kit is new. Uh, so first up, we have the die cuts. So these are a la carte. You would get the die cuts on their own, but it comes with the Jack and Sally Mickey ears. You have Zero. You have your Sally pumpkin. You have your bat, uh, not your bat bow, but Jack's bow. Um, Sally's kind of herbs, like her her little poison. I don't, it's not poison because it didn't kill him, but like put him down for a little while, right? <laughs> and then Sally's bow. All of my die cuts are printed on the sticker material. So if you wanted to use them as stickers, you can. Or if you wanted to leave them like this and like slip it in your jelly cover or something like that and make it to where you can reuse it, you can do that as well. Um, so those are the die cuts that comes in one set. And then for the kits, the Hobonichi kit, you guys, oh. This is something um, I just had to use because it was just, this scene was just so pretty. So this is one jumbo sticker. The kit comes in two sheets like this. So you'd put the jumbo sticker on the right side and it just fills up the entire page. I'm gonna be doing a plan with me on this one that will be out on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. I'll show you how I would put down this big sticker because sometimes big stickers can be a little intimidating. Um, but again, they're repositionable. So if you get a bubble or you put it down crooked, you can pull it up, um, but it's nice to get it down right the first time. I'll show you really quick what I what, how I would do it and this is how I do our albums. Um, but basically I start to peel the sticker and then I would fold back the backing like that and then you can lay it down so you know it's straight and you know like this is not going to be flopping down and sticking to something. Once it's straight you just slowly pull the back and rub your hand and see how it just slides right down. And it's just way easier to do it that way than peeling it completely off of the sheet and sticking it on. That one can get a little rocky. So that's the one page. And then the other one comes with the date covers, some full boxes, your bottom washi, your checklists, and some little decorative items as well. So that's a two page kit for the Hobonichi Weeks. And then I made it, of course, in the other sizes, vertical, horizontal, and itty bitty. These will be somewhat limited only because I am limited to how many items I can sell under the license that I purchased for this. So um, they will come down once I meet that, that quota. Uh, but this is page one. So you have your checklists, pretty pastels, and then the... Um, the little icons. For $2 Tuesday, you guys would have noticed that the full boxes were different. I had ones like this and ones like this and they were kind of scattered out. So this one, you have ones that weren't featured in that. So you have this one, this one, this one, and this one are all new um, to this kit instead of the $2 Tuesday. So these are all the full boxes. They're super cute. And then you have some typography stickers there. You have your blank schedule, your blank habit trackers, your menu planning, and some more little icons, and then these full boxes that I would either use on the sidebar or kind of just scatter them throughout. You have your half boxes and your quarter boxes, and then you have your bottom washi, which is again zero, and his little house. Um, so that is the vertical. Horizontal is identical. The only difference is the height of the boxes. So the height of the boxes in a vertical kit are 1.9 inches tall and the height of the boxes in a horizontal are 1.63 inches tall. So just slightly smaller. Um, they're both an inch and a half wide. So if you're working with like the uh, print pressions, that new planner that he just came out with, um, I planned with the vertical stickers but Going forward, I might think about using the horizontal because that way I'd have more room. Their boxes aren't as long. Um, so that's that. And then itty bitty, the stickers are exactly the same. It's just that they're a lot smaller. Um, so that's that. My camera battery is flashing at me, so we're going to speed through this before it dies. Um, if you are watching this on August 2nd or before August 2nd, this might go up uh, Thursday night. We're doing a freebie Friday for August 2nd, so all orders placed on August 2nd, excluding the subscription kits, will get this fun pumpkin spice latte countdown freebie. I saw on the internet that it's supposed to come out on August 28th at Starbucks, so that's why I made this. Um, and yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the new releases. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!